Good morning, howdy. Welcome to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. This is another episode, 36th or 7th episode of the, uh, the Auction Rover Review Chat, uh, where we uh, kind of discuss Land Rovers and Range Rovers are for sale at the uh, public or non-public dealer auto auctions. And this one I scrolled over a couple times. This is an 05 L322.1, so last year of the BMW 4.4, V8 and uh, most most BMW interior configurations. Uh, it's located in Colorado. It's a 300 truck. It's Tonga green. It's got the grill guard. It's got the roof rack. It's got the side step. It's got the taillight cover. So, you know, Colorado Aspen spec L322. I was kind of hoping it was a one owner and I was hoping it was in better condition. Um, but it's, it's a little rough, but the fact that it was traded in to Land Rover of Denver kind of made me circle back and take another look at it. So let's go along for this ride. Um, it's got some meh tires. And again, I don't know how they're grading the condition on, on some of these cars because they treat everything the same, which is good and bad, but you'll get a very low score for just some minor scratches and little dents and whatnot. So, you know, We'll run through and see what it actually looks like. Just shipping to Richmond, thirteen hundred bucks. Um, the other thing, it, do, it says it doesn't run, but that's just a little box you check, and most cars don't say that either. So I really want to believe that it ran because it's parked in a parking lot, and it was traded into a dealer, and they don't usually take non-running cars. So uh, you know the stuff they can sell in their lots these days is getting much slimmer as prices come down and uh you know dealer inventories are very high right now so you know they don't need old shitty cars in the lot um so running through the description you know curb rashed wheels left front tire missing that's not true unless they put a spare on it from the back maybe that's why it has a different uh, tire brand bumps bruises paint tailgate blah 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 everything that's consistent with a 20 year old car uh, this is a bummer. The headlights cracked, and that portion of the passenger side grill guard is missing, which it's very hard to find those stash fake damage multiplier grill guards. Um, kind of a bummer. That really that kind of made the truck a little bit more appealing, the fact that that was installed and then it was Tonga Green. You know, all the little things that the afflicted think are interesting. So let's check this thing out. Apparently it's still snowing in Colorado. Uh, a little bit of uh, snow sitting on the truck. It's got the 19s or the 20s. Are they 19s or 20s? I don't know. Maybe they're 20s, uh, which look great on these on these trucks. Um, you know, the paint at first glance looks good. I think there's some fading on the roof and whatnot. Um, there's the cracked glass. Because, again, the, the dot ones with the BMW spec bits do have glass headlights, and I'm not sure if the turn signal is also glass. You can always tell because there's a little, those orange light instead of the clear light. Um, but it's got the taillight guards. It's green. That wiper's suspiciously pointing down. No backup cameras on, on these additions. Um, but caramel leather interior, which looks pretty good. Again, these early L322s interiors, I believe, are, though, you know, cosmetically they hold up better are they aesthetically as pleasing as the later ones no but they definitely hold up um a little more stout you got some spec uh optioned wood steering wheel some stick on wood trim which is not here nor there at this point it's a bit period so you know depending on what port it was imported into they might have had some different options uh there's your bmw 4.4 i mean the truck only is 130 something thousand miles um, there's a jack in the back, which leads me to believe that the, one of the tires was flat and was replaced after the little bump. And see what other pictures, you know, little paint scratches. There's a little clear coat fade, but there's also dirty. The roof gets faded. It's a flat surface. You know, Colorado cars do have a lot of paint fade. Um, so it's not, it's not just Texas and the Southeast that experiences this phenomenon. But yeah, a little scratches and dents, but you know, it's still a low owner, lower miles, decently specced L322 that would be kind of fun for, you know, thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks. If it if it starts, runs, and moves. They might not have the key or anything, so 
There's really no way to confirm. I guess you could call the dealer and ask for a PPI on the lot, but yeah. I would... If this runs across the lot, I think it's worth the gamble. So that's the conclusion. See you in the next one.